Okay, here we are in front of 10349 Lake Sheen. This one is just down the street from the one on Pineola, but there's one feature that truly stands out from the other one, and this one is that it's on the conservation, and you're in a cul-de-sac. Really nice, beautiful home, pavers. It looks like they just painted the exterior of the home. Very fresh, beautiful magnolia tree in the front. And uh, it's on a very nice, good sized lot. Has some unique art architectural features I thought were nice. The coach lights are nice. And then it has this really nice like, um, I don't know, is that like Mediterranean style? With the corbels at the top. Um, and then it has like this little sitting area up here in the front of the home as an architectural feature as well. Really nice stone in the front as you can see. Really nice details, really nice details. Nice little sitting area here. So let's go inside and have a look. Let me tell you, this is the best smelling house out of all of them. It smells so delicious inside. Such a difference when somebody takes care of the house and lives in it compared to some of those other homes that we've been looking at. Your mom and I made a reference to that actually just a few minutes ago as we came in. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it has really beautiful wood floors. There's no scratches. They look very new and well taken care of. Definitely has that comfortable, homey feeling. Now, this is a grand formal dining. I don't know if you guys could close it up and use it as a whiskey room, but let me tell you, this is a great space to entertain. It's a double tray ceiling, not even a single, but a double. And then that sitting area that I was just out front, these would be the windows that look out to it. <clears throat> So this is the guest wing, one of the guest wings, and it's a split floor plan. So these two rooms here, here and here, are gonna share this bathroom. So let's start with the one on the right. Good size room, decent. Here's the bathroom. Single vanity, standing shower. Here's another guest room. You guys are movie buffs. That kind of reminds me of that um, A Christmas Story. You're going to shoot your eye out. Okay, moving on. Okay, so that hallway goes into the other room there. And then if I go this way, it takes me into the um, living space slash kitchen space. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go the butler's way, which is along the formal dining, and come into the master wing, which is here. So um, over here to the right is the laundry. Let's look here. The laundry here, you have a washing space, and you have your garage. Oh, wow, well, look at that. There's a boat in the garage and it fits. Maureen, yeah. did you see this? Yes, I did. I didn't know it was going out or not. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. And that looks like about a 19 foot, 20 foot boat. It's a fishing boat. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out if it's a uh, 
And they have the tongue folded up here too. And that's exactly what they said, that they said the tongue folds up on the boat that they wanted to get. Oh, it does? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering what size, I can't tell if it's like a 19 or 21, but it's really long. What does it say here? Room for a car too. Yeah, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's room for a car as well. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a long garage, right? This is not one of those short skinny ones. This yeah, is a long garage. This is a long garage. Huh? What he did, he put wood behind it so he could push the boat. He said All the, the way boat. up against it. Yeah. Right, yeah. Very good. All right, I'm going to continue on. So that's a good sign. Yep. Oh, and look at this network center. They have yeah, the whole network. I net saw that too. Let's unlock sure, it and yeah. see. Yeah. Well, if we can. I have to take the whole thing off so you can see here. So it has all your Ethernet plugs to the rooms individually. That's, That's what, what your is. dad did, remember, yeah. in his closet. Your dad built a whole network center right in the closet. I'll take it for one second. Oh, me. sure. Thank you, Mark. So that's kind of cool. If I can put it back on. So the only downside, this is a beautiful house. The only downside is no pool. But it backs up to a beautiful conservation area, so. What have I done? Uh-oh, you can't get it back <laughs> out. <laughs> you want me to put this on hold? No, no. Okay, there. Let me see. Okay, unlock. There we go. Then Operator error. Operator error. <laughs> there you go. All right, there we go. So Oops. continuing on, that's okay. So then over here, on, and I'm going to wait for the kitchen because the kitchen has actually had some pretty awesome features. So I'm going to start here with the master which has the um, high doors and it goes into the hardwood floors and these are real hardwood floors these are really nice these are excellent and they feel like they're glued down here we are again with the double tray ceiling view of the conservation area sliding glass door to the outside plenty of room for your king size bed and all your furniture Beautiful double door entry into the master bathroom. I feel like I'm in MTV Cribs right now. It's a potty room. Big tub. And this is definitely an upgrade here. This is the seamless shower. Seamless glass shower, sorry. And it has really nice tile work in here, as you can see. Great detail. Even a spot for your tile there. Okay, so then we exit out through the double doors into the master. And we go to the left, and we have the big walk-in closet. That's all hers. I don't know what you're going to do, Brian. You're probably going to have to get a little storage somewhere that goes under the bed. <clears throat> so here we go. Moving on to the kitchen. Now, this is going to be the architect side of you guys that you like because this kitchen, as you can see, is totally open. I don't know if they did it after or not, but I think it's an excellent way that they use the space up here. It has the lights in it. Comes down to a big uh, breakfast bar, a large island, flat top cook stove, built in ovens, uh, built in oven and microwave. I'm going to go back here and we see the entire kitchen. All stainless steel appliances. Here's your pantry. Walk-in pantry, might I add. Absolutely beautiful space. Plenty of space for a big sectional here or whatever you might want to add. <clears throat> then it looks like there is a pool bath on that side. And another bedroom. And, and another bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. So all the bedrooms pretty much have a bathroom close by. Two, one them. bathroom for those two and one bathroom for the one here. Okay, and perfect. Then, so it's three bathrooms. Yeah. Three bathrooms. So we have one full, another full bathroom here. That would be the pool bath if you added a pool. Excellent fixture. Those are like Tiffany fixtures. You saw that? It's really huh. nice, the fixtures. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are really pretty. Let's see what we got going on. I just can't stand not to look behind the curtain. Moen pictures. Tile. Very well taken care of this mm -hmm. house. 
And then this is another guest room. It's a large guest room, and this is nice because they'd be totally on the other side of the house and never bother you guys to never hear each other. Here you go, closet space. And each one of these rooms, I don't know if you noticed in the last one, they have this little space to put like knickknacks and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna exit through this pool door, pool bathroom door, if I can. Is it? There we go. Let me go out here. Thank you. So yeah, this is a, oh my God, this is over a quarter acre. This is huge. Maureen, this is more than a quarter acre. Oh, yeah. This is like a half an acre. Yeah, this is really huge. Wow, look at that. That's a great lot. So I was looking at the pools on either side. Yeah, that's right. That, both houses have pools on either side. And as you can see here, you have these big, beautiful trees. And it comes into the conservation, which will never be built on. When it's conservation, it's owned by the, by the state. You see they have a pool here. And they have a big pool on the other side. So I'm just going to walk the perimeter here so you guys can get an idea of the size. <clears throat> well, I mean, you can, but you're not really supposed to. It's, not, it's supposed to be no trespassing. I've done it. I probably shouldn't say that on video, but I've done it. I mean, absolutely gorgeous.